Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Dwayne here, bringing you a quick video on my opinions on RuneSpan. Now, RuneSpan is an update that happened on the uh, 20, or 30th, 31st, on the 30th of April, uh, that was two days ago, well, I'm recording this on the 2nd, uh, so yeah, today is Wednesday, April 2nd, and uh, I wanted to give you guys my opinions on RuneSpan. Uh, I have been doing a lot of rune crafting here at RuneSpan. Uh, it's so amazing. Uh, very, very good XP. Um, as you can see, right now I have 10.1k uh, rune span points. I don't know exactly what they're called. 21.5k uh, rune essence, uh, 2.8k blood runes, and I've just been going to town on this today. Um, as you can see, I started a special uh, XP counter up there at the top. Uh, just for rune crafting XP, just from what I've gained from uh, rune span, and gotta say, it's pretty good. Uh, that is the most rune crafting XP I've gotten in quite some time. Um, I have gotten from level 79 to level 82. I'm 112k XP off of 83. Uh, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be getting in my. Uh, Max it out, road to max cape, whatever you want to call it, uh, series. Uh, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be getting some room crafting levels, and uh, I've been getting some some questions. Uh, what's my opinion on room span? What, uh, what I think of it, and um, so I decided to do a podcast on it or a video, whatever. I don't care. Call it whatever you want. Uh, and I gotta say that I think it is pretty amazing. Uh, it's definitely revolutionized the way that you train runecrafting in RuneScape. Uh, before, what you had to do, if you don't know how to runecraft, then obviously you do not know how to play RuneScape. But just to give you a brief overview, runecrafting was you take rune, rune essence or pure essence from your bank, uh, you can put them in pouches, and then you can take them to whatever runecrafting altar you wanted to take it to. Uh, most people would either do ZMI, which is the fastest XP, or they'd do something like double astrals at level 82 or double natures at level 91, uh, and anything in between, they would just do it. I gotta say that back in the day, I used to run nature runes. I used to I used to no life the nature rune crafting altar uh, for money. I used to do it for money because that was really good money back in the day. Uh, I don't know what they are now, but man, uh, law runes, those used to be bank. And even nature running, you'd find people standing at the nature altar saying, you know, assisting assisting 91 runecrafting. Or before the assist system, they'd stand there and say, you know, they would, um, they would sell it. I mean, they would just, like, you trade them 28... Uh, unnoted s or rune essence and pure essence and they would give you like 28 or or more uh nature runes and you know it was, just, it was just a good way to make money and they would just sit there and people would bring them essence and they would get free rune crafting xp it's a pretty cool way of of doing it to be honest and um you know i always wanted to be that i i actually used to have like i used to be like dead set on getting 99 room crafting I would I was like yeah I'm gonna do this I bought like a whole bunch of pure essence I mined a whole bunch of pure essence on my own uh speaking of that I used to do that for money I used to I used to stay in Varrock and and camp that back when when there was no grand exchange and you had to sell everything either in person or through the forums and man good times I, I would stand at the Val uh Varrock East Bank the one over by um over there, and I would like mine 10k pure essence, and I'd come out and be like selling 10k pure essence, and it'd be however much. I think it was like 111 GP per pure essence. Man, that was good money. I mean, that's what 100 110k GP for not that much time. That's I mean that was pretty good money back then. Uh, you know, it, people weren't that rich back then. Uh, 
you know, when I had, I used to have like 20 mil and I thought I was like really rich and then I quit and gave it all away. And man, those were, those were the good times on RuneScape when people were poor and they thought they were rich. Now everything's so expensive and you just, you just can't buy anything unless you're like super rich. But um, anyways, back on to under RuneSpan, I've been doing this since it came out pretty much. You know, whenever I'm on RuneScape, I've been here. And I gotta say that it's really good. It's it's one of the best updates that Jagex has released, especially lately. Um, I, I can't stop doing it because it's just so easy. It's like, seriously, I stand here, I click on the, the freaking blood s wraith and whenever i get sick of that i or you know I, i'll just like i'll there'll be something something else like you know and then i go back to the blood s wraith or like a, a a blood pool will spawn and then i'll switch to that or skulls will spawn and i'll switch to that and get even better xp but man this is just so good so good xp you just like here skulls you know, they just spawned. So I do that, and I get better XP. Yeah, sure, you can run around and find the, the wizards. You can find, you know, you can find these skull nodes. You can find the, the jumper nodes and stuff like that. But I might as well just stay here in this one little island and get all this XP. And all my friends are coming here. As you can see, uh, Co Justin's here. He's, he's one of my friends. He actually has 99 runecrafting on his other account, and he did that the, you know, the normal way. And, uh... And he he even loves this. I mean, he doesn't he doesn't care. I mean, he wishes that he could, you know, transfer the 99 runecraft into this account because he he plays on this Co Justin account more than his other account. But you know, it's it's something that I mean, he even he likes it, and he did it the the legit way before. I mean, not the legit, but you know, the normal way, the old way, and he even likes it. So I mean, it's something that. Even the people that already have 99 runecrafting are saying, hey, this is pretty cool. And I have to agree, 100%. It's awesome, and I think right now I'm getting about about 50 to 60k XP per hour. I don't know exactly what I'm getting because I haven't really been paying attention because it's just so AFK and I just I love it. But uh, I know for a fact that when you get up to the higher levels, you get between like 90k and 150k xp depending on what you do and if you actually go around and do this stuff but i mean that's really good xp i i would not complain for that because the way that i look at it the rune span update is pretty much the ivy of wood cutting for for rune crafting uh you know ivy cutting chopping ivy for wood for wood cutting it's not bad xp it's like 70k xp per hour but it's really AFK. I mean, it's not good XP, but it's not bad. It's really AFK. You just sit there, and every now and then you have to click a new vine. And that's kind of what you do here. You just sit here. Every now and then you have to click a new Blood S Wraith or whatever you're camping. You have to click a shifter. You know, it's just, it's pretty cool. And it's really easy to do this. And I don't know when I'm going to stop. I might just keep going till I get 99 runecrafting. I don't know. Because, I mean, this is really easy. I might stop at 85. I might stop at 90. I don't know exactly, but um, I'm still trying to do dungeoneering at the same time. I, I am going for 120 dungeoneering right now because I just want to get it out of, out of the way. Um, it is a big challenge. I still, oh, yeah, I still have 83.2 mil XP to get to 120, so that's a lot. But I really enjoy dungeoneering. It's fun. And I think I'm going to keep going till I get to 120. At least I'm going to keep going till I get to like 110 or 113 at minimum. And uh, I'll probably keep going till 120. But, you know, it's like runecrafting was one of the main things that was like, I was nervous about doing Max Cape because I just didn't know how long it was going to take me to get 99 runecrafting, 99 agility, 99 slayer. Those were my three 99s that I just am so petrified over because it's going to take me forever to get 99 in. But now, uh, runecrafting, that's going to be easy. It's going to take like two to three weeks tops. Um, I calculated it, and it was like 250 hours from level 80. And I've already knocked out a bunch, and 
you know, it's just, it's not going to take that long. It's going to take like three weeks tops. And that's pretty good for room crafting. I'm not going to lie. You know, whereas before it was like three months for 99. <laughs> that's, that's not going to happen. Uh, that's kind of why I was like, okay, well, I guess effigies. And that's, that's why everyone has been using effigies on room crafting is because it just takes forever. Uh, the other thing is I might just get to level 91 and then just do room crafting assists for effigies. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I, I haven't decided. But uh, that is my opinion. Um, I'm not going to make a guide on it right now. I don't know. I might. Um, we'll see. But it's it's so easy. I love it. So thumbs up for me. Good job, Jagax. Good job, guys. Um, for those that didn't know, Rune Span was a player-suggested update. Uh, at Rune Fest this year, so they the fans recommended it, and then they kind of developed it there at Rune at Rune Fest. They kind of had a, a session there, um, and then uh, they took it back to the Jagex Studios. They refined it, they changed it to and made it to where it is today, to a released content. And I gotta say that it's it's really good and. I, I just, I love it. So good job guys and keep up the amazing work with these updates. Uh, if you haven't checked out, uh, my behind the scenes for May video, uh, you can, uh, watch the video that was uploaded before this. And I talk about all the new updates that are coming out in May and it's going to be a good month. Uh, I'm not going to lie. May is looking pretty nice. So thanks for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you later. Bye.